Hello, Leo. This is going to be a three card pull for you. And I'm going to be pulling it for this uh, new moon in Virgo that is tomorrow. Okay. Leo. First card was, is going to be about um, the focus. What is the focus point for this new moon, which is all about learning a new skill and acquiring a strength, a new strength within you somewhere that maybe you didn't know of before that you had deep within the realms of your very being. So that will be the most important is the focus. Second card will be what can help. And then the third card will be what can you put aside for now? Okay. Leo. Three more. One. Two. Three. Okay. All right. First card. Focus. It's the devil. Hmm. What will help aid in this focus and what is to be focused on? Four of Wands. What can be put to the side for now? The Five of Pentacles. Okay. Leo. All right. What I get here, if the Devil card is coming up as the focal point. I wouldn't say that it means to go ahead and just embrace your inner darkness. I don't get that. What I do get though is that perhaps this new moon, it would be wise to really think and dive deep down into the shadow side of yourself, recognizing it, seeing it, and not ignoring it. Not to say to where it's like, oh, you know, let's just go ahead and ignite Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> I'm not saying that. More so about what it is that you know deep down is something maybe you should work on. Maybe there's addictions. Maybe there is obsessions. Perhaps there is something within you that your conscience knows, feels, not so... You always get the feeling of disturbance. Or it causes disruption in some way shape or form within your life. The intent is to look at it from the outside point of view, not as you're in it or like being in it. Try to step outside of yourself as the observer looking in at it in those moments or in the past or just in whenever you're in those situations, whatever it might be. And then what will help is the Four of Wands. I get right away that Wands being of spirit and soul and being an even number four tells me this is what is going to help to balance out to get that outside observation into those parts of you. Balancing your soul. 
what could help to balance your soul? Focusing on what you have in your life. What is it that you are grateful for in your life? What makes you happy in life? Genuinely happy. What is it that you do not want to lose? What is it that you want to make sure you always want to keep safe? And whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's just your peace of mind, what is it that can help you bring peace and balance to you? What are some things that you could work on that ignite the shadow side of you? And then what you can put off to the side is the five of pentacles. Maybe you've been really stressed out lately about financial stuff. Yes, it's important to be aware of the finances. Things are hard right now. Um, it's hard to get by nowadays. Money is hard to, it's hard to afford stuff. You know, it's, it's hard to keep up with, with the bills, with, with just life. You're not alone in that. But perhaps you've been allowing it to take too much hold to a point where this is what happens. Because of this, it's almost like a, it's a chain reaction, right? What is addiction or vices fueled by, essentially? It's fueled by a fear. In the end, Every single vice we have, or addiction of any kind, behavior, is fueled by a fear. When it becomes that, anyways. And that's why they say if everyone had the ability to do everything in moderation, right? There'd be no issues because you're doing it in moderation. But we're human beings that have emotions that drive us subconsciously on a daily basis that we're not even aware of majority of the time. It's what makes this human experience. So the five of pentacles. It's my, my little one. The five of pentacles is about constant worry, stress that keeps accumulating, but you keep it inside. You keep it inside, but it builds up, builds up, builds up, builds up, builds up. Instead of releasing and de-stressing in a more balanced, healthy way, you, you might resort to more darker things, but essentially it ends up putting you back downwards again. It doesn't help you ascend and become stronger. But anyways, that's what I have for you, Leo. I better go because I have my little one uh, screaming in the background. So I hope you liked it and happy new moon. Peace out.